lunchtime, it's packed around Munich City Hall at Marienplatz. Regardless of the season, visitors from around the world come here to get a glimpse of the glockenspiel. I'm here today to see what Munich has to offer in the winter. Perhaps other visitors have tips for me too. Where are you from? Manchester. Okay, what brings you to Munich? Uh, just a holiday weekend away. It's really great to see these, these buildings and uh, museums, so it's kind of fun. What's your impression so far? It's so cold, but <laughs> we like here. Here is beautiful. I'm going to walk around this area and see what I can see and try to find some classic um, German beers and food. So there are some suggestions already. Today I'll visit Germany's most famous beer hall, the Hofbräu House. Later I'll try my hand at curling and with the mountains so close I just can't pass up on the opportunity of a little fun in the snow in the Alps. First we go to the original Hofbräu House in Munich's old town. There's still space to sit at lunchtime during the week. The historic main hall has space for 1,300 people. Wolfgang Sperger is the famous beer hall's manager and shows me around. The upstairs banquet hall is regularly used for events. For example, a weekly dance night. But Hofbräu House isn't just for tourists. Why is the Munich Hofbräu House so famous? Because we have great beer. That's the main reason. That's what everyone claims. Hofbräu House has always been here, since 1589. That's a long time. And it reopened as a restaurant the way you see it now in 1897. Before that it was a brewery. And why is it so famous? Because it's always been here and has always played a big part in people's lives. And the regulars have a special privilege here. They can store their own beer mugs. Right. The beer mug treasure chest. When the 1972 Olympics were here, we used glasses to clearly show how much beer was being poured into them. But our regulars said they wanted to hold on to their beer mugs. So they put them into their own drawers, which is now the beer mug treasure chest here. Are you ever not in the mood for beer? Me? I like drinking beer. Because what's nice about beer is you're sitting at a big table chatting with people maybe you've never seen before, or people you already know. Beer brings people closer together. Let's see how things go for me with the regulars. Do you have a place for your own mug too? I've got number 25, so that tells you a bit about how long I've been here. How many can a regular like yourself drink? Well, that depends, but two's enough for me. All right. And then you're still upright or is stumbling out of here? After two? Oh no, then I fall over. <laughs> Winter time in Munich is also the time for Bavarian curling. You'll come across the sport in most beer gardens here. I'm here with the owner of the Augustina Keller, who's going to show me how it's done. So it's not made completely of wood. Heavy, right? It's made of wood except for the iron ring here, keeping it together. It's classic, just like you'd find at your grandfather's house. Maybe the underside of his was flatter. Depends on your taste and skill, but thanks to the weight, it slides really well if you give it some momentum. It sure is heavy. And this is the one for kids. 
What's that supposed to mean? The swing is the most important thing in curling, that's what I think. Okay, show me. Want me to? That's good. Too short. What's the game's objective? What is it about? The goal is two teams play each other, and the one that gets closest to the house gets two points, and closest to the stone, one point. The house is the wood block? Yes, it's a wooden block, or it's called a button. You play around it, and whoever has the most points wins. Der ist schon besser Chance, ja, ja, aber der ja, ist auch ja, noch ja. zu stark. Die Bahn ist zu glatt. Oh, oh, oh. So. <lacht> It's knapp, That's heavy. Ja. Super. Nice one. Ja, der wäre schon Chance, ja. <lacht> okay, der war jetzt Freestyle. That was Freestyle? <lacht> But it's all right. <lacht> Well, Bavarian curling is not so easy, but it sure is fun. Now let's get out of Munich. As promised, away from the city and into the countryside. To Langris. Because I want to get to the mountains. It's just 60 kilometers away and easily reachable by train. In just an hour, I'm at the Alpine foothills. When we get there, we'll head right to the piste for some sledding. Show me how it works. Is this my sled? Okay. So, that's it. Lift from above, not from below. Yeah. That's important. Otherwise, you'll get tangled and pulled up. Do I lift my feet up? Yes, lift your feet up on the sled so you don't get hurt. When you want to get off, just let go. It'll go by itself. Then ready to go, I think. But you'll help me, right? Of course. Have fun! Thanks! Ready, set, go! The slope is 800 meters long and quite steep, so you can really pick up some speed. And thanks to the lift, I definitely have to go up and down again. In and around Munich, you'll find everything the heart could possibly desire of a little winter getaway. A huge selection of museums, fun physical activities, the obligatory beer, and this winter wonderland just around the corner. The perfect combination. <laughs>